YouTube, it's Ellie Rico TV, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what I got going on, man. Um, we got Cash Nasty. I finally met LeBron James. So y'all know what time it is, man. I know Cash is excited for this, man. For those of y'all that's been watching Cash Nasty for years, y'all know LeBron is pretty much his favorite player, and he's been trying to meet Bron for a long, long time. And he had opportunities, but he just was pretty much how a fan would be, like starstruck and don't know how to approach that person that they really looked up to and idolized, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, it's like that with him and LeBron. So that's it, man. Hey, it's been a long time coming. I know he's been waiting for this moment. So with that said, man, y'all know what time it is. If you're brand new to the channel or, um, and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button right now. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. And also, don't forget to make sure you guys have the post notifications turned on. And with that said, though, man, we're going to go ahead and get this screen record started. That started. It's starting the video now. Button before me, right? Yes, sir. So he met him pretty much in the Memphis Grizzlies series. What's good, okay. everybody? We got a special video today. The NBA is flying me out to my first Memphis Grizzly game. And guess what? It's going to be the first game that they play the Lakers. A huge shout out to the Memphis Grizzlies for hooking me up with this opportunity to see how their arena is and see how crazy their fans are. And shout out to the NBA for starting to really work up close and personal with, um, social media influencers and stuff like that because we see where um i think it's jesser you got a lot of people that's working with the nba right now i think it was jesser i know it's um i think t nash and it was some other people too man um but with that said though man shout out to everybody that's working with the nba that's social media influencers and stuff so that said i could be wrong on the t nash part um but with that said, though, man, y'all just comment down below all the people that y'all um, mess with on social media and stuff that really is doing basketball content and stuff like that. But other than that, let's continue on. Are in the arena. So we're going to see right now when we get to the arena. All right, y'all, so we just got the plane. We just got done coming from California. The NBA is flying me out to Memphis. Uh, we lost our luggage because we don't know what time our luggage is going to be there because we came too damn late. It's a 45-minute cutoff I'll period. You become, uh, that after that, they take lost. your luggage. If you want to take your luggage, you're going to know when it comes. So That's my worst fear is traveling somewhere and my luggage get lost on the middle of pretty much the travel. And then you got to go through the whole headache of figuring out where your stuff is and when will it arrive to where you are and stuff like that and hope that none comes up missing or anything missing at all etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's it man that's definitely one of my worst fears for real but let's continue i might be going to the game with the exact same fit on this is ridiculous man Hey y'all, so we got the flight. It's almost nine o'clock. Went damn. No, that's not on nine o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Jeez, I think time go back like two hours forty. Yeah, it's two right? hours. Yeah, two hours. We in Memphis. First time I hit Memphis. It beat us here. You sure, you sure that's yours? Bro, that lady literally told us that we wouldn't go have our luggage on that flight because we checked in late. Oh, Man, God, that's good. Flight. This is yours. The whole time yeah, your yeah. stuff went on Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. You see that heat right there, man. Or left behind. Plane, you you, just, you sure this is you? Let me lick the shoe. <laughs> All right, y'all. See what the room looking like? Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Shout out to the NBA again. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, not bad at all, you know? We gotta make it happen. No, oh, it's so definitely nice as hell. So, it's so they hook them up. That's Even we just get a doubt, man. Just, this, that's all we need, bro, just a doubt. And we straight, bro, we make history right oh, there, a man. A head nod, too. A head nod be straight, you know? I, I know y'all feel like a cash. You probably milk these videos, bro. I'm really not. I'm really trying to meet the dude. I've tried my best, y'all. This gonna be the time, man. We're we gonna manifest it. Look at the hell out of me. I need to go to sleep. Oh. Hey, good morning, y'all. Uh, we got hit with an unskippable ass, so hold on, y'all. Taco Bell breakfast. Yeah, we got hit two wild, times. Just one. delicious. Look at the 
is delicious. Biscuit right there. That thing look good, bro. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Shout out to the staff over here, man. Today's a big day. Today's a big day, y'all. This should be a dope, y'all. We about to go behind the scenes, about to go on the court early, about to go courtside, watch the full game, meet LeBron. You think you seen Tristan Thompson this morning? Yeah, I, I walked out here, he was just right there chilling. Yeah, man, you know, I don't want to make it too obvious. You know, we see a play, you gotta put the camera down. You know, it can't be playing, you know? All right, y'all, we're at the Memphis Grizzlies gaming facility. Let's take a tour. Bro, relax. Bro, you are a cheeser, bro. You also, it's cheeser. wild that NBA really you know, got, got some teams that like pretty much got there. a competitive we 2K on, man. That's, that's tough. He's he not even playing, no, he's not playing. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> he about to get checked. Hey man, and don't be following the social media hype that you can't play the video games if you were grown, man. Because at the end of the day, man, a lot of people love playing video games. There's really nothing wrong with it at all. And sometimes you can definitely gain knowledge from a lot of stuff playing video games and stuff like that. But also just have fun, et cetera, et cetera. And now you pretty much able to make revenue off of this. So it's a way of you being able to make revenue for doing something you love to do on with your um, downtime or whatever the case may be, hobby, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you want to call it. So with that said, man, don't let nobody tell you that kid games are only for kids because it's really not, man. You can definitely make a big living off of this. But that's just for the people that's not really kn knowing about what um be going on on social media and stuff like that with social media influencers um game streamers etc cetera, etc cetera, the whole nine but other than that let's continue on hey, <laughs> oh, shit. hey. Yeah. we got them hey thank you boom too probably in a bad show man just a couple weeks ago in yes. fact i asked my son i said no cash fancy's coming in time do i need to get him in he said yes <laughs> and i said he's like you know the two hype crew that i watch and i was like yeah 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 and he's like he's friends with jesser and all them and i said what should i ask him about he said well he's real ripped and does a bunch of workouts maybe ask him like how he yeah if i'm not mistaken <laughs> I know Christopher London, and I could have swore pretty much everybody else on that um, two hype squad pretty much does stuff as well involved with the NBA, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but other than that, like I said, man, shout out to the NBA working with gaming um, influencers and stuff like that, social media influencers, et cetera, et cetera. But with that said, let's continue on. <laughs> so how do you work out, Cash Man? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a somewhat, you know, strict diet, you know, wake up, have a clean breakfast, you know, eggs, oatmeal with a smoothie then uh you know then i go get some coffee and then i go watch some lebron highlights oh, um, y'all already know what time it is we are outside the memphis grizzly arena the lakers and the memphis grizzly about to go down in a couple hours speaking right now and this right here is an hour before the game we are in front of the memphis arena the game haven't even started the city is crunk. Is so you ready to play? Yep, ready to play, man. Ready to go to court, man. You Top jersey? Of that's, that's all they need me for, man. You locking that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm locking it. Nah, I ain't locking it up, bro. I'm about to shoot, bro. You say he's the best shooter on Lakers, huh? Yeah, for sure. Scoring 30 points, only taking 10 shots. Uh -huh. How do you continue to play at this level? Um, it comes second nature. You know, uh, you know, we we, we, we we come in here, we have a game plan, and then we just we conquer it. You know, we just... Stay on point with it. Next question. You're on track to get your 16th ring in your 16th season. What's 17. the key to? Oh, seven, wild seven, 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 What's the key to your success? 16 uh, rings in 16th season. Yeah. Uh, shooting from top of the key. Next question. Last. Last question. Who are you most afraid of in this playoffs? <sighs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. What kind of question is that, my boy? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a walk on that one. You, you cap. You, if you fear somebody for real, man, you don't need to be on the basketball court. That's all I gotta say. That Reeves, man. And without him, bro, I don't even think we won one last game. I don't think we'll be in the playoffs without him. Like it's that moment of truth. He's locked in. He's going to fumble it or is he going to really make it happen? 
Yes. What you want to say, bro? He's right there. Good, good shot. Something. Gosh, look at the distance. Good shot, bro. Yeah, you can tell Cass going through it. He don't know how to how to really approach it. Please don't tell me y'all ain't eating no fried fish or no free food. This is the second fried meal you had today. Hey man. Now wait, before y'all finish the rest of the video, I want to give a big, huge shout out to the NBA for having me out here. If you guys don't have the NBA app down, like I said earlier, shout out to the NBA for sure. It's crazy that they starting to really show love to social media influencers and stuff and be involved with them and bring them out for experiences and stuff that they probably didn't think they could experience. It's a parade in some of my city, yeah. Tough. I'm, I don't know what they gonna do, man. And then we just found out some stuff about John Moran today, which is wild. It just ain't looking good, man. Well, hopefully he turned things around. Oh, man. Gonna, like, you know, I know you about to perform me, right? Yes, sir. Man, so what? Man, out the way. Meet LeBron, man. He ignored me again, dog. <laughs> We're gonna run him once for sure, man. Yeah. Be nice and ball, bro. I gave that ball nice. <laughs> Y'all know them away games is crazy, especially if your team ain't ain't pretty much the home team. It's crazy. I definitely want to experience something like that though. Like all the Lakers fans are quiet here, man. Only been one NBA game in my life, and that was a Chicago Bulls game. Um, I think they were playing against the Phoenix Suns or whatever, because Shaq was on the Phoenix Suns around that time back in the early 2000s. So. Crazy, bro. Or late 2000s, et cetera, et cetera. But other than that, that was my first ever and last NBA game I've ever been to. You can't hear the audio. Definitely gonna go to another one. And it's way off. Let's go, King! Nobody agree with me out here, man. It's a foul! It's a foul! Yeah, y'all already know Memphis was on that, man. And they whole crowd was not messing with nothing about the Lakers at all. It's a bucket, man! But it's, I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad the Lakers put, uh, put them away from real fast, though. They need to be humbled a little bit. Yeah, Angela Russell got three points. Yeah, Russell got three points. Yeah, Russell got three points. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know down below. I feel like the vibe is definitely different with this Memphis Grizzlies team, even though they playoff contenders. I feel like the vibe was way better and different when it was the Mike Conley, Mark Gasol, Tony Allen, and uh, Zach Randolph Memphis Grizzlies. I feel like that vibe was more genuine and a little more humble i know they probably had a lot of trash talking stuff going on even back then but still it's just something about that team the energy and everything around the team itself was just actually different i feel like from this team i feel like it's honestly just because yeah this team is younger 
the core group is pretty much young. So compared to that, Mike Conley, like I said, Marcus Saul, Zach Randolph, and Tony Allen Grizzlies, those were vets. And they pretty much knew what they really had to do and just had to stay locked in for competitive play. And they let their game do all the talking for real, for real. So with that said, though, man, y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way. But I'm pretty sure we all do. But let's continue. <laughs> He just know he had to slip that one in real quick. Oh, Come on, Mike. That was the face of disappointment. I remember that game. That blowout game was crazy. But the rest is history. We all know what happened after that, though. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, Brian, my guy. Hey, Brian, say you got the last year. Yeah, Tima ran low key really cool with a lot of people though. No, we up. It's right there. Yo, don't tell me he fumbled. Oh my god. All the moments and opportunities y'all see right here, that they was all fails. But this one. Hey man, let's see if he really make it. Yeah, he definitely let's recovered. Go! Definitely recovered. He was going for the dap, but he seen the hand, so he had to hurry up and flip it. But hold on, man, we gotta go back through that real quick. Hey, I know this moment was crazy, man. And you know what's crazy? Imagine the Lakers actually pull it off this year. Nobody's seen them making the playoffs at all, let alone making it this far, this um, late in the postseason into the Western Conference Finals. Let that sink in. Imagine if they win a chip this year. Cash year, I ain't gonna lie. His year is gonna be lit as hell just because he finally made an interaction happen with LeBron. And then possibly Brian get his fifth ring this year. That's lit for real, for real, bro. So, hey, that'd be a crazy story to tell for real. But other than that, let's continue on. The video is almost over. Shout out to Cash, though, man. Finally got that moment. I definitely want to meet Brian, though, man. It's crazy. I only got a little bit of time, though. Hopefully, I make it before he really get ready to put up the shoes and stuff and say he done, man. Hopefully, I'll be able to meet him. But we going to see, man. This definitely is just motivation, man. For real, for real. That's pretty much the end, man. Shout out to Cash Nasty, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, my reaction to the video itself in general, et cetera, et cetera, make sure y'all smash that like button. And also, don't forget to comment on the video. And also, like I said earlier, man, if you're brand new, to, brand new to the channel, excuse me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. And also, don't forget to make sure you guys have your post notifications turned on. With that said, though, man, that's the end of this vid, and I'm going to catch you guys later on with more, so stay tuned. Peace.